Hi Foxy friends, this is Sarah from Foxy's Domestic Side and today is Sunday and I am making dinner for my family. I thought I would start a new series on the blog called Cook With Me, but instead of this Cook With Me, I'm going to explore new recipes with you. Today I am going to use my Instant Pot and I'm going to try my very first whole chicken in the Instant Pot. So I thought I would take you along on the journey to see how it comes out and we'll see how it goes. So what we need for this is obviously a whole chicken and um, some celery and I have to the reason why I decided to do this was because I already had the celery for something else and so I thought oh I don't need the whole thing so it kind of uses up the rest of the celery that I'm not going to use so there's some celery I already had some carrots at home some garlic which I also had at home and an onion which I had to buy so the only thing I had to buy for this was the chicken and the onion so I thought that was a pretty good deal uh, using stuff around the house so all right let's get started so the recipe calls to chop the celery coarsely chop the celery the onion and the carrots I have three carrots because my one of them is really small so I just kind of threw in another small one and half of a head of garlic so I'm gonna do that now and we'll see how it goes Here's a little trick on how to cut an onion in case you didn't know. The next direction it says to do is to add the water at the bottom and then put in the um, this insert into the Instant Pot. So we're going to do that now. Let me rebel and do this part first. Hopefully the chicken I bought fits. I don't know if it's going to fit. Okay, I filled up my water and you know what I really don't like about doing a new recipe is when they just give you a vague measurement like two to three cups. like two to three cups, two cups and three cups. That's a big difference, that's a whole cup. So how much am I supposed to do? So what I just did is I filled it, this is a two cup, and so I just filled it as high as I can go and hope for the best. Like, how do you know what, what to do? I don't know. So I guess you don't want it to fill up the in, like higher than the rack, so maybe that's why. So I'm just gonna fill it until just the bottom of the rack. I'll show you in just two seconds. This is what it looks like right now. So the water is like right there, you can tell. Okay, the next instruction says to, oh, we're supposed to lift the skin of the chicken breast and spread handful of herbs and sea salt over the breast. This is optional, but gives you good flavor to the meat. So it calls for um, thyme, oregano, sea salt, and pepper. So I'm gonna, I do happen to have those um, spices, so I'm gonna go try that. I don't know, see how that goes. So I don't know about you, but I get super freaked out with handling raw meat at all, so I have some gloves that I bought at Costco. Break this bad boy open. Try not to kill myself while I do it. All right, so it says to separate the skin from the chicken. I don't even know how to do that. Oops, it just tore it. I don't think that's what they wanted us to do. So I'm just using my finger to kind of separate it a little, because it's still attached. So I'm just gonna use my finger to separate it a bit. Or, oh wait, I think it said to do the breast. So this is the breast right on the bottom, right? There's nothing in the cavity, so. Can I see the cavity? Yeah, come here. It's right there in the middle. Okay, so I'm just sticking my hand in here and kind of separating it. Where's the butt? <laughs> right here. Can I see what it looks like in the inside? You can't see that. All right, so I'm gonna take this glo these gloves off and get my handful of herbs. Bye. So it says to oregano, so I'm gonna Oregano, thyme. Can I be in the video? No. Uh, you are in the video. I can see your little head. And I don't have 
uh, sea salt, so I'm just gonna use some kosher salt. So just a little palmful. Oops. Can I do? Let's get, no, no. I'm gonna touch raw chicken, baby. Raw chicken? Yeah, and that's, you can get sick from that, so mama do it, okay? All right, so it says a handful of this. I just did like a teeny tiny bit because I don't want a huge amount. Handful of that, a little bit of this. That so that's what it looks like. Yeah, there you go, here you go. And then it says to- Put it in. Let's get another glove. Stick it in there. Oh, let's see. How do you do this gracefully? I don't even know. That was not graceful at all. Can I see? Yeah, hold on, let me see if I can get this. That was, that was super not graceful. But there's some stuff in there. Now can I see? Now the chickens are going to look like. <laughs> All right, so let's go see what the next instruction is. Take this glove off. We'll keep this one on. Can I keep a glove? Can I get a glove? I'm okay. really fat. <laughs> She's going to help me with this. All right. Uh, she can see herself in the monitor over here. Okay. Um, wait, let me see what to put it in. So can you pick this up and put it in here? Here, I'll move this closer. And pick it up and stick it in. Perfect. Yucky chicken. I know. Now don't touch anything and go put those gloves in here. Okay, so she's gonna go wash her hands. Um, so the recipe calls for a five pound chicken, which I don't know how that would fit in. So this is a four pound. Oops. This is a four pound chicken. Let me show you what it looks like. A four pound chicken, and it just barely fits in there to the max line. So maybe you add less vegetables so it's not as high. I don't know. So then it makes me think that maybe we shouldn't cook it as long. Um, this is, I think this might be the wrong way because it's breast side up right now. I'm gonna flip this around so it's breast side down. Hold on. Okay, so we're gonna flip this around so that it's breast side down. Oh, and it fits a little bit better when it's the other direction too. I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it's flipped the other way. It looks like that when it's flipped the other way. So that looks a little bit better. So it says to set this, let me lower you down so you can see. So it says to set it to, okay, so first let's put the lid on. We want the vent up, so it's, and then it says to go to, um, set it to meat. So I'm gonna set it to meat, and we want it to go down to 25 minutes. Now this is for a five pound turkey, so I'm, or chicken, so I think we're just gonna do 20 minutes and see, hopefully that's good because that's a whole less pound. So I'm thinking 20 minutes. So do 20 minutes and you just kind of let it go. So, and then it goes to on and then it's gonna be cooking. It does take 10 to 15 minutes to get this up to pressure and then at, it'll cook for 20 minutes at pressure and then we're gonna let it come to naturally release. So it'll be, be another 10 to 15 minutes after that and then it'll be done. So let's, um, Start with that and we'll see how it goes. See in 20, no, see in 30 minutes. Okay, so it's been about 40 minutes. Um, the Instant Pot has cooked and now it's coming down to natural pressure. It's been um, releasing, I guess, for 22 minutes. Has not released yet because the valve hasn't come out, so I'm going to um, manually release the rest of the pressure now. I'm gonna rotate it only because I don't want the steam to hit my cabinets. So I just rotate it so that when the steam gets released, you want to be careful when you do this, so let's do it. Oh, nothing to release. So what we're going to do, it's turned off because it must sense, I guess. Um, so we're going to take this out and see how it looks. I hope it's cooked because I didn't cook it for the 25 minutes, like I said. Looks cooked, smells good. So I'm gonna just stick it and see. So yeah, it's totally cooked. It is um, at 170 or so. It was at 190, so we definitely could have cooked it a little bit less. Um, but let's take this out. I think I'm gonna need some pot holders. Oh here, let me show you what it looks like before I take it out.
looks like that. So let me take it out now. Mr. calls this the taco claw because we used to get our tacos with it. There we go. That side. Oh, that totally worked. Let this drip. And there is our chicken. Beautiful chicken. Here is our chicken. Looks pretty good. I have no idea how to cut it, but I will figure it out. This is what it looks like, the rest of the stuff inside here. I'm sure you could probably make soup or something, but that's for another day. Not sure what I'm gonna do with that. So you just went on my journey with me to make a Instant Pot roast, or an Instant Pot chicken, and I think it worked out pretty good. Um, I'm gonna cut this up and serve it, and I'll show you what my dinner looks like, and then we'll be done. This is what my dinner looks like. A little bit of chicken and some rice and some vegetables. I think it turned out pretty good. I think that it turned out pretty good if I do say so myself. If I were to make this again, I would suggest, if you have a three to four pound chicken, I suggest you go a lot less time. I think the 20 minutes was way too much. I think you could probably do 17, 16, 17 minutes. Maybe probably even 15 minutes. I don't think that it needed this much. It is a touch, 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 super, super touch on the dry side, but it came out really, really good, and it is still moist. Um, I only tried a piece of the breast, and I don't typically like breast as much as I do the dark meat. Anyways, I think this was a huge success, and I would definitely suggest you try it. I will leave all of the information of where I got this recipe and what I would change down below in the description box. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. And one more thing, I can't cut chicken. I need to learn how to do cut a whole chicken. Other thing that I need to teach myself. <laughs> okay, now I'm really leaving. Bye.